Hi. Hi. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, How you doing? It's been a minute. I was going to say the same thing, but I had a brain fart. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I've been okay. It's been cold here. Sucks. It's the beginning of winter, and it sucks, and I hate it. I'm growing out the winter beard, though. Nice. I like it. Me too. I had to shave mine. Oh, no. It was too patchy. That's something you don't have to reveal. Well. Like, you didn't have to say that, and now, like, everybody knows you're a bearded lady. <laughs> Mysteries coming undone. Oh. So. I see more space news. No, stop. That okay. was spoilers, Tony. Like, you weren't supposed to know about that. I was going to talk about my personal stories first. Well. And then get into, like, I want to start lighthearted. Okay, go ahead. Jesus. <laughs> no, no, now I'm going to do it. Now we're going to start <laughs> off, starting off lighthearted, folks. Um, th- th- an asteroid danger. Cause this is what I do. I'm Again, the residential I asteroid kn- expert. I was going to say um, it's probably an asteroid. 100% or certainty of impact. Where? W- warns Earth. Yeah, but where on Earth? D- does it matter? <laughs> well, yeah. Tony, you didn't even let me finish. 100% certainty of impact warns space expert. And then this is in quotations. We need to leave Earth. Bitch, where the fuck are we going to go? Bro, we need to leave Earth. Where are we going? There's a fucking asteroid. An asteroid is 100% sure to strike our planet without warning, a space expert told express.co.uk. So you know it's you know it's reliable because it's, it's by express.co.uk. Just that statement, it's going to hit Earth unexpectedly. Well, no fucking shit. And he's urging humanity to evacuate the planet before disaster strikes. Uh, so, like, they, they go on to say, like, oh, the astro- an asteroid killed all the dinosaurs and shit. But then it's like, this is the best part because it's like, but it says, it says, but one uh, one space expert fears the certainty of cataclysm is too high to be ignored indefinitely. Basically, this guy is saying the probability of an asteroid coming and striking Earth is high as fuck. So let's get out of here. But this, this is a this is the rantings of a madman. Yeah. That have been posted online. This guy's like, there's a fucking asteroid coming. I don't know when. I don't know how big it's <laughs> gonna be. I don't know where it's gonna land. But I, it's it, the the numbers don't lie, people. <laughs> like, this is the equivalent of a man on the side of the road holding up a poster, like well, saying, "Yeah, Keith, the end is nigh." There's but in ast- the science world. There's asteroids coming at Earth every single moment of the day Dude, as I, we're I, as we're speaking right now. There's asteroids coming towards us. I report on a asteroid almost every fucking week. <laughs> but yeah, so that's my that was we need to leave Earth, guys, because an asteroid is going to most likely hit us See, at some point in time. My question is, this guy's like we have to go, but where are we going? That's what I'm saying, like how, we just got to leave. He, he drops it so nonchalantly. Because we have to leave. Guys, we got to leave Earth. Like. Let's do it. NASA's. Just pack up, guys. They're still trying to figure that it's out. It's just stuff, Tony. We can leave it. We can get more. We can get yeah. new couches. No, no, see, that's great and everything. My New con- satellite dishes. My concern is, where the fuck are we going? Wherever the wind takes us. Oh, there's no wind in space. Fuck. (laughs) 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 Wherever the non winds take us. Wherever the non gravity. Wherever the pulsars take us. Because it's like. The thrusters. We can't go to Mars. Sure, we can. We won't survive. But then the thing is, on top of that. Like, there's asteroids hitting other planets, too. Oh, It's yeah. not like it's just us. No. He's, like, he thinks, he's like, guys, I don't know what it is with these asteroids, but they're trying to fuck up Earth hard. Nah, they're trying to fuck up everything hard. Saturn? No asteroids. Jupiter? Not one. None. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <coughs> Sneezing fit Just for everyone. We done? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm... Surprised that was the first sneezing fit I've had on the podcast. I know. Everyone knows I sneezed 12 times. I was just going to say, so while you were sneezing, for everyone who doesn't know, Jordan normally sneezes 12 times. Or more. If I'm lucky. <laughs> or more. <laughs> Minimum five. 
<laughs> three, I'm like, oh shit. That's like, that's it. That's all. <laughs> that's all I'm doing today. Okay. But see, when you get three, you know they normally come back around. Yeah, that's true too. Anyway, so enough long, about long, enough about the end of the world. Yeah, long story long, we need to pack our shit and, you know, leave Earth. Where? It doesn't matter. Wherever the winds take us. Wherever the non-winds take us and the asteroids avoid. That's where we gotta go. Um, I almost broke my finger. Oh shit! Yeah. How? Um, the key, key word being almost. I have, I have a leading up. I have a theory. Okay. After this, um, so I was at work and I was using the rap machine. So it's like a, 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 a you put the skid on like a circular disc and oh, it yeah. spins around. Sure. And um, excuse me, and um. So the skid is like kind of hanging out a bit from the circular disc mm-hmm. and it's spinning. And this is my first time using it. Like I j- literally just got trained on it like not two minutes ago. And I'm like, all right, let's fucking get it. Um, so th- so like it's spinning and I'm putting the wrap and I'm like you got to like get it underneath the skid kind of. Yep. So I'm doing that and I don't know what the fuck happened, but my finger got caught in between the metal and the skid and the skid rolled over my finger bitch you almost lost a hand you didn't almost break a finger yeah but it only got my finger like it, went, it literally just hit my finger okay well you still almost could have lost my finger could have yeah. lost could've your got finger 100 yeah, so that was a very uh, misleading st- i almost broke my finger today no son you almost lost a finger today it wasn't today it was like thursday <laughs> Reg- okay but st- you still, still almost lost a finger. All that happened was I got a little tiny fucking flesh wound, like a little a little cut that like spanned across my finger, and like it was just a little bit of like the two top layers of skin. Okay. And my finger swelled up pretty big. N- uh, naturally, of course. But like I, I was amazed. I was like, how the fuck did my finger not get? Like it's fine. Look, it's like it's still it's still a little bit tender, but I can Dude. I can fucking move it. Dude. I'm you, un- I'm unbreakable. You drink three cows worth of milk a day. My theory is I'm unbreakable. Like, because you drink be you drink so much milk. I have iron bones. And like from all the like even as a kid, I know. All the milk that you drank from a kid to now, your bones are invincible for the most part. That's what I'm saying. Like my muscles and my tendons and shit. Yeah, those can get hurt. But my bones. Your bones? I got iron bones. You're Done. Like fucking adamantium bones up in this yes. bitch. Yes. Wolverine dog. That's my mutant. Ab- that's not a mutant ability. Dude, it's. I should have fucking lost a finger or something. You should have broke your finger. Sh- should have definitely broke my definitely finger. Definitely broke your finger. Probably could have lost it. Yeah. And I just was like, ah, fuck. And then <laughs> I looked around and nobody saw. So I just kind of moved on with my day. That, I, I didn't even report it or anything. I was like. As we do. Yeah. I was like, uh, looked around. I was like, okay, nobody saw that. Did you see if, did you do the classic? Can I, is, can I move it? Yeah. I was like, oh, well, no. First I was shook. <laughs> well, of course. Absolutely. F- I pulled my finger away. I was like, cause it instant just rolled over. I was like, ah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I didn't even like try to yank it or anything. It just fucking rolled over, and I was like, didn't even notice until after it happened. And I was like, oh fuck! And I pulled my hand away, and I was like, oh. <laughs> then I was like, oh my. Looked around. I was like, okay. Gonna. <laughs> then I was like, kind of scared of the machine after that. Well, of, nat- of course, of course. But yeah, that was a, that was a thing. Holy shit. Finger's fine, though. That's good. Moral of the story. Yeah. Um, Be careful with machinery and always drink your milk. Yeah, drink a lot of milk. And drink a lot of milk. Cause there's been plenty of times in my life I should have broken bones, but I never have. Oh, God. The stories. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but th- anyway, that was that one story. Um, My other story is from today. It's from this morning. Okay. So I'm... I'm walking to work, like, yeah. like on, and it's weird because like this one road goes over like a train track, 
so it's like an overpass. Oh, oh okay. But over a train track, <laughs> and <laughs> so I'm like, I'm walking and like I'm just, you know, minding my own shit, and then a car just all of a sudden fucking slams to a break. <laughs> yeah, and then like, he pulls off to the side, kind of. Mind you, it's a two lane road, and there's really nowhere to pull off. Like he's blocking traffic. What is it, your thought right now? What what the fuck is going on is my thought my thought is i'm about to get murdered okay like, i was just about dude, to say are, I'm like, you, what, are you getting kidnapped right now what beef is going <laughs> on that i start that i don't know about like are you getting a bag thrown over your head at this story straight up to a trunk what um, is happening but anyway so i'm like all right maybe he's, cause he threw his four ways on but like literally cars had to go it wasn't much because it was like fucking six 20 in the morning yeah but still but still like there was cars that had to swerve around him and everything and i'm like i have to walk past this guy i have no oh, choice god that's scary yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> and um it's not like i can take another way because i'm on the overpass so yeah and especially like the area that we're in yeah exactly scary that's what i'm saying so i'm walking up and i'm fucking dreading it because i know he's gonna roll down the window when i walk up and be like hey bud can i can i get some help no so i i I walk up and i see the window i'm like fuck Uh, so then he's like hey hop in whoa and i'm like at first i thought it was someone i worked with and i was like because i could only see the lower like his nose and like his beard i'm like oh this must be like jazz deep because it looked like jazz deep from fucking nose down. That's legit. My heart just dropped. Dude, and I was like, I grabbed the handle of the car. Jordan! Like, about to get in. But I like... I, no. And I was like, I looked in and I was like, I saw it was nobody I knew. Oh and my I was like, God. I was like, nah, I'm good. And I started walking. He's like, you sure, man? You okay? I'm like, I'm, I'm good. And I started walking. Yeah. Whoa. I know, man. It fucking scared the shit out of me. Oh my God. If you got in that fucking car. Dude. I know. I know. <laughs> it was fucking terrifying. Dude. Yeah. And even like. Like I was the whole time I was t- I immediately I texted Jesse and I was like, dude, what the fuck? And I just told her all of that. that it was like a three page text. Crazy. And it's like, OK, play that out. The it's whole like, time I was walking to work, I was like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, that is. Like, that's terrifying you legit bro. almost got kidnapped that's what i said <laughs> like i told i told a, a buddy from work about the story and i kind of just played it off a little bit like, like you like joke. you weren't scared yeah but like i was fucking oh. terrified especially because i was like oh hey it's you know it's like it's you thought it was somebody yeah you knew, and i was then, like oh like, it's this guy from work and i was like i grabbed the hand and like i stepped off the curb and i this guy was probably like, yes <laughs> and then instinct yeah and i saw the face i saw the full face because he was leaning over and i was like Oh fuck! I was like, nope, I don't know you, man. Fuck off! And I sort of <laughs> that's exactly what I said, and I walked away. And I was, yeah. He's like, you sure? I'm like, get out of here, man! Like, I don't know you. Leave. Oh. And he fucking drove away, and I was like, oh my god, what that's the so fuck? Scary. Stranger danger, man. But like, play that out though. It's like, okay, um, alternate universe. You get in the that's car. That's what I said. That's exactly what I thought on the way to work. I was like, what would happen if I got into that car? No, okay. Hear me out. Nobody would know. We, like, how long would it be until we knew? Because it's Thursday today. kind of wish I did get in the car. Cause it would no. Be, it would be a much more interesting story for the podcast. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> so alternate universe you gets in the car. Dude, who even knows what happens? That's what I mean. It's Thursday. We're all like how Every Thursday, you normally go out for drinks. Yeah, Thursday it's or Friday. It's 8 o'clock right now. We're thinking that... Oh, he's gone out for drinks he with, with his buddy. He went out for drinks with his buddy yeah. from yeah. work or with dad or whatever. Yeah. Like, how long will we know until we find out that... Well, when I don't come home. <laughs> but even then, it's like we text you, like your phone could be dead. Like No, nah, Jessie would get in contact with you. Because if I hadn't texted her all day, she would mm. know something was wrong. So yeah. she would have... She would have immediately, by like noon, latest, she would have been like, he's not even responding. Yeah, something like, like that. Like, yeah. Oh, that's so scary, though. It was terrifying, man. Yeah. It scared the shit out of me. Yeah, I was thinking about it for a while. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're going to be thinking about that for a long time. Trust Dude, me. Dude, it was weird. It was so weird. Like, you're going to not think about it, and then, like, subconsciously, you're going to be, like, in every the time, shower. Every time someone pulls over on the road, yeah. I'm going to think about it. Yep. Like, I was so close to getting in that car, too. Because I was like, yo, I know this guy. Yeah. 
if I didn't like actually take a look at the guy's face and I got in that car, I would have been fucked. And how fucking like how he would have sped off of me. My my thought, he would have just fucking tore off. Yeah. You know? You would have got in, he would have left. Locked the doors and gone. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, Andrew was like, what if he was just trying to be friendly? No. I was like, bro. The way he, the way you're saying he approached it, like he just pulled up. He just pulled up and waited for me to fucking walk up, yo. Like he pulled up so far up ahead. Yeah, that's weird. And Yeah. It you was should like walk with a knife or something. Fucking. A kn- wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. The shit that could happen. My ninjutsu is enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll just walk with my headband on and people will know <laughs> not to fuck with me. But like, whoa, how, like, that's just, how easy is it? What do you mean? Like for you to almost get into that car. Like that's just, that's how easy that's it is. What I'm saying. Like we have a, we have a meeting every Thursday at work and uh, I almost brought that up and I was almost like, guys, just be careful. You know, like it's, it's fucking spooky out there. <laughs> like You should. But like nobody else takes the bus and I was like, I'm the only one that takes the bus there. Like I, I like, almost might bring that up at our next dude, yeah, meeting was, if you don't mind. Like Go ahead, yeah. It, it was fucking scary. Yeah. yeah. Cuz I know a lot of ladies take the bus especially yeah, that's like what, at this time. That's what I was thinking cuz I was thinking like if we had a lot of ladies that took the bus, I was going to bring it up, but like yeah, if we, so, we don't. So it's like yeah, so if everyone drives. Yeah, so like, next s- fucking staff meeting i have if you don't mind i'm just gonna yeah like, go ahead tell that story like, my brother yeah. had this incident and yeah like, I just, just be I careful be, like, even in the morning because it's dark in the morning yeah, and just everything like be, just, yeah. even like fuck it even in the afternoon yeah anytime man it's it's spooky out there kids just be careful be care- and honestly the best word of advice i can give especially for young kids or even like teenagers or people still living with your parents have a fucking code yeah, no, I spe- not just young kids, really. Like, not like adults. Yeah. Like adults. Like I said, I I know. I didn't know this man. I was like, I'm not getting into this random person's car. But yeah, for like kids. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, kids and like young teenagers. Like Yeah, teenagers too. Yeah. Like still in school. High school and shit. Such like. on. Like have a code or a word or a phrase that only you and particular people in your circle know. And yeah, and make it like super random, like like purple monkey penis, something that okay. would never be said in, in normal conversation. Yeah, or like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that way, like your kids and you and that per those people know everything is simpatico. Yeah, because honestly, I've said it a hundred times already. I know, but it was literally fucking terrifying. It's yeah. Like I walked away from that situation, and I was fucking shook yeah like, as you should be and like you said now every single time regardless of the situation you could be with a group of people a car is gonna pull over on the side of the road and you're that day is instantly gonna come back to you every single time yeah and imagine if i was a woman y- yeah honestly like like it could have been way been worse. Lot worse exactly like you easily could have stepped in the car he could have opened the door and pulled you in yeah like, it wasn't, like, an unmarked fucking van or anything. It was, like, a white Toyota some shit. But, I mean, but still, still. it was, like, come on. It was fucking weird. That's pretty weird. fucked. It was fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Like, even if that guy happened to be an... I didn't see an Uber sign anywhere, but even if he happened to be an Uber driver, there's still, that like, There's still something weird with an Uber driver... Like zooming that, across, that too. throwing on the four ways that and being too. like, "Bud, get in." Yeah, exactly. Need a ride. And there's also like stories about Uber drivers kidnapping yeah. people and like selling them off for like sex slave, like yeah, sex or trade like, or whatever. Or fucking fuck. bringing them to some backwood alley and trying yeah. to do stuff to them. You know, like whatever. But like, it's just it's that's bad. that was the first thought that came into my head. Was like this guy is trying to fucking sell me to like fucking russian sex slaves or something like he's gonna make me a sex slave throw or me in his something. dungeon or some shit that'd be crazy yeah it was just nuts yeah just be safe guys nuts fuck oh so my story real quick and then we'll move on to some other news get a little lighthearted here my fucking wet wiper broke today what Yep. I was driving home from work. Literally like on the side like on the side road from where I work. 
and it was raining. So I was like, I'm going to turn my wipers on. Turn my wipers on. One of the wipers just boop, plopped right off. <laughs> <laughs> While you were driving? Yep. That's amazing. <laughs> I was That's just like, what? fucking hilarious. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Where'd my wiper go? <coughs> Excuse me. It went like just flying behind the car. And I was like, oh. Oh, man. Was anyone behind you? No. Oh, good. But I was like, That's oh, good. fuck. So I turned around to see if I could find it. My wiper's just gone. I only have one wiper. It's so unsafe to drive my car now because I can't fucking see out of the driver's Especially side. Especially in this season? Yep. It's driver's side, driver's too? Driver's side. Oh, that's brutal. So I'm trying to get home, and like I have the heat on, so the water <laughs> evaporates like as high as it You're can gonna go. You're going to have to like get a fucking bottle of like Febreze <laughs> yeah. or something and just wipe outside the window. And like, I'm trying because like, the passenger side wipers, wipers are cheap. It's like 20 on. bucks. I know, but just like... Come on. Just go to Canadian Tire, man. So I'm like trying to fucking lean out my window so I can see. <laughs> I'm trying to lean over to the passenger side so I don't hit any. It was, I was so fucked. That's ridiculous. It was so funny. Dude, the other day I saw someone driving and their wipers were up. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot to put them down. Nice. I was like, how the... Dude, Very how smooth. do you not notice that? That's the first thing you should it, but do. But they were on, though. That's the best thing. They were on. They were fucking turning, but they were they were <laughs> up. <laughs> like, like you know how like when you fucking lift up your wipers to At stop night, it from so freezing. Yep. It was like that, but he had them going. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? <laughs> how do you not know? Fucking ridiculous. How? Oh my god. It's like, man, my wipers must be broken. I don't know what's going what on. What is happening? Yeah. This is so strange. And then he probably like got to work and told some people and they're like, you're a fucking idiot. Did you push your wipers down? They're like, Jerry or Keith. Yeah. Your wipers are up. He's like, what do you mean? No, no, I I just did that when I got here. (laughs) Oh God. We had a fire drill at work yesterday. Let me tell you our fire drill or our fire alarm is a fucking air horn. That's fun. Yeah. So I knew it was happening. And like I knew that like everyone knew the times and whatever. So I'm like half expecting it. One of the ladies comes around from the office and just. I thought I was going. It's an air horn? Like a literal fucking. It's a legit like can air horn. What the fuck? (laughs) That was my reaction. What the fuck? I was so fucking scared. Dude, that's your fire alarm? Yeah. That's so unsafe. So you're telling me someone carries around a fucking air horn on them at all times? No. So what we're gonna we so have where do you keep the air horn? So we have we're ga- we're gonna get more, and we have oh you're gonna get more that's okay. <laughs> no, no. And we have to put little baskets like on the wall in every like area, so we can like easily get to the air Dude, horn. What the. F- fuck is that <laughs> so if there's no, a fu- i know you so can't if, do that so if there's a fire we have to run to the basket fuck grab you. the air horn and start blowing the air horn fuck and, like run around you yeah are you serious i believe that's the situation dude that was like when i worked at this one company like the last company i worked at um we had a fire drill but the thing is the supervisor ran around telling everybody oh that's even worse yeah yeah <laughs> it's like oh there's the fire drill's happening the fire drill's happening she ran around like, and, like the whole warehouse <laughs> dude what the fuck was it a practice yeah it was a practice see okay that but then like they gave a shit they're like oh last year it was a lot better time it's like well maybe don't have the supervisor run running around, around just being like hey there's a fire put drill. the alarm hey. on how about that yeah <laughs> I don't know. You have it. Fucking use, use it. it. The fact you have air horns. Oh, we're going to get more. Don't worry. Yeah, air horns. What though. the fuck is that shit? <laughs> Dude, I would be going to my supervisor. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. You, you can't have this. You have to have an alarm system. You have to have an alarm system. <laughs> and no, your alarm system cannot be fucking air, air horns <laughs> strategically placed around the fucking <laughs> warehouse. That's bullshit. <laughs> Come on. That's bananas. I'm going to look in. The, I have the uh, that big green book. 
the, the big green book. Oh Ontario yeah, Ontario yeah, Health yeah. and Safety book because I'm taking that course. So I'm gonna look in there and see what it says. There has to be a rule. Okay, hold up. Do you have another story? Yeah. Okay, you talk about your other story. I'm gonna get the book because it's like literally right. Oh, there. but I want you to hear the story. Oh, it's in the room. I can, okay. I will still hear you. I thought you were going upstairs or something. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to hear me through the headphones, Tony. <laughs> okay, okay, so start your story. Uh, I was doing overtime recently, and um, <laughs> so I was taking the bus because I usually get a ride in, but I was taking the bus, and it was like fucking five ten in the morning. So it's like super early as fuck, and like every nobody wants to be there, and so I get on the bus, and um, the bus driver like for the first stop he's like, next stop, uh, whatever the street is. Wait, he says it. He says it. Okay. Yeah, cause you know there's the fucking lady, the bus lady, yeah. the bus lady is like, next stop. Whatever the fuck the street name is. Like, you know? So the bus lady says it and then the driver no, says the it? No, the driver says it and it's then the bus lady, the bus lady says nothing. So I was like, okay, the bus lady must not be working. So that's why he's shouting it out. Naturally. Does the bus lady not come on right after I think that? <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Also, mind you, I got on the bus. He's like, good morning. And then, like, every time someone got off the bus, he was like, Thank you for, uh, thanks for uh, riding. Have a good day. Watch your step getting off. Is this guy new? That's what I thought. But anyway, so he's like, okay, next stop. This st-. He's not, he's also saying side streets, like not even like the main streets. He's like, he fucking knows his route, bro. Wow. Yeah. That's kind of, he's not new. But either he's new, he's not new, or he's new and he fucking and studied he his loves shit. he streets. Yeah. He's passionate <laughs> about bus driving. But anyway, so... He says the fucking route, or he says the stop, and then the lady says the stop, and I was like, uh, okay, that's kind of weird. Maybe, like, he didn't know or something. Maybe he's trying to beat the bus lady. Dude, get out of my fucking head. (laughs) Because the next stop, he did it again. And I was like, okay, this guy's just definitely, like, what the fuck is happening right now? Like, this guy's just, he's saying it, and then the lady would say it. I'm like, you don't have to say it, dude. That's what the lady is for. This, yeah, like this. Oh, here we go. Um, But anyway, so then this one lady gets on the bus, and I, I, I guess she had a bus pass or something. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what the fuck happened, but maybe she didn't have enough fare. I don't know. Maybe her thing was expired. But he was, like, talking to her for a minute, and then he, he fucking <laughs> <laughs> he lets her get on the bus. And then... I thought he was going to Regina George and be like, you don't have enough money, bye. <laughs> it's Wednesday and you're wearing pink, so you can't sit with us. No, on Wednesdays they wear pink. On yeah, Wednesdays they wear pink, sorry. Yeah. It's Thursday and you're wearing sweatpants. Yeah, you can't sit with us. Yeah. But anyway, he lets her on the bus. And then this man gets on the fucking PA system. Mind you, before this, I didn't know buses had a PA system. I... I I had no idea that the bus driver could speak over a fucking loudspeaker. I didn't like a, like a pilot. Oh yeah, no, yeah. no, I know what you mean. I'm I just I'm very did c- not know that was a feature on <laughs> city buses. Surprise! Did you know that? No, no, I had, I had no, no idea. idea. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> so he gets on the bus. He gets on the speaker. Uh, uh, wait, hold on. Second. Uh, lady, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> La- ladies and gentlemen. Uh. The Brampton Transit bus pass expires November 24th. And then the the lady cuts him off. Because <laughs> the next stop is coming up. And he's, he's like, fuck that. He's like, <laughs> he cuts the lady like, <laughs> excuse me, uh, the, the Brampton bus pass <laughs> gets, uh, gets, gets uh, expired on the November 24th. Also, next stop, this street. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, what the fuck? fuck is going on what is this boat tour like what the <laughs> hell <laughs> and i was like okay <laughs> so then i was like all right looking at celebrities houses and That's if you uh, <laughs> if, if you look michael sarah if you look to the right uh you will see michael sarah's house <laughs> michael sarah is a famous brampton born 
uh, Actor. celebrity and uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was like so. Anyway, <laughs> I get off. I get off on my stop. I'm fucking baffed by this, yo. This was yo. Did he did he thank you for riding yeah. Brampton Transit yeah. and tell you to but watch your step? Because I would have been heated if he did not. Afterwards, when he learned he could use the speaker, he set it over the speaker, oh my so God. everyone could hear him. Oh my God. And then the next day, I get on the bus. Same guy. Same guy. Yeah. If he did not have this performance, bro, that's what I said. First stop, he didn't say anything. I was like, yo, what what Excuse happened? Me? What happened? I was like, okay, I guess maybe he lost his enthusiasm, like the first day, you know, whatever. But then, next stop, uh, ladies and gentlemen, your next stop is the street. Uh, thank oh. you. Have a good day. I was like, yo, yes. what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? So, what perform? Did you like the first performance or the second performance? He did this better? for a straight week, a straight fucking week, bro. Dude, because the whole week I did overtime. The whole week I got on this bus. This man announced everything. That it was is... fucking bananas. See, that's fun in the afternoon. Th- that's what I said. <laughs> like... I was like, bro, it is fucking 5, 10 in the morning. Yeah, no, that is a lot Nobody for the morning. Nobody wants this. In the afternoon, coming home, that's fun. Mm-hmm. When you're not paying attention to the bus lady. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, that's I would love that if that was in the afternoon. Or like midday, you're going about your day, whatever, you get on the bus. You know you had a hard day at work, you're like, Oh, look at this guy, you know, he's he's, he's like, enjoying he's himself. Putting, yeah, he's, he's happy. Like, he's yeah, living, he's putting out good vibes. Living his best life, loving dude, his job and like five o'clock in the morning. Fuck you, bro. Dude, yeah, that's Let a the pr- bus lady do her job. Like nobody wants to hear that shit. Nobody want barely wants to hear the bus lady dude, at Dude, I haven't even had my coffee. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my my boat tour story that was fucking bananas God, yeah that's insane also i can't find anything about fire safety fire safety there's firefighters and like like a calendar no oh i wish <laughs> <laughs> um no but firefighters protective equipment it really ended up cool. uh, i got some toronto maple leafs news dude i heard they fired mike babcock yeah yeah but do you know why? I don't know why. God, because he he's fucking hated the way they were running the team, I'm guessing. He talked shit about the GM for so long. Oh, really? Yeah. It was f- kind of funny. Because, like, the G- Babcock's old school is fucked, right? Mm-hmm. Like, he's an, he used to play hockey for, like, a long time, and he's, like, fucking almost 60, I think. Yeah. Like, he's old school. Um, and the new GM, he's, like, a young guy. Like, he's, like, fucking couple years older than me oh. so he focuses on like all like the Got that young blood like all the computer analytics and shit and oh all that kind of shit. yeah and um babcock didn't like that he didn't like the way he was running the team so like Bab- i remember one time he was like they're asking why like how he was going to try and change like their losing streak and he's like well i can't do much because they don't let me do anything <laughs> basically he just called them out and he got in a lot of trouble for that. Oh shit! Yeah, and like when when that happened, Dad was like, "Oh yeah, he's done. He's gone." <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Well, I mean, he's kind of not wrong in thinking, like the computer analytics side, really. Dude, he's the coach. Let him do his job. Yeah. Like, come on. Like, and to me personally, when like I think it's so. St- like stupid how people rely on stats and all that because yeah, it's like, man. like you don't know anybody your team. could have a bad a computer doesn't know your team yeah it's like, like anybody could have a bad night or a great night it's like the best team could have a shit night and lose to the worst team because they exactly. had a great night and everything changes like uh-huh. you never know yeah exactly and like you said he's the coach he knows what he's doing he's played the game he built that team let him coach like he built that fucking team, man. Like, come on. It's like he knows what he wants. Like, you all want the same thing in the end. If he can get you there, let him do it. He turned that team around. He did. And you're gonna fucking boot him, just like that, randomly. Like it was so random, just on Friday. And oh, I yesterday, it was yesterday that like it was like Babcock's fired. Everyone's like, what? Oh the shit! Fuck. <laughs> and yeah. I heard that the Leafs were um shit. Like next. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> <coughs> were um could have been like next in line for the cup. 
Not the way they're playing. Well, if Babcock had no, another year, year with them. Maybe next year. Maybe not now. And then Don Cherry got fired, too. Oh, yeah. What's your thought on that? Well, he kind of fucked up. He was pretty pretty brazen about that whole situation. Do you know what he said? Yeah. Like everything that happened? It was basically he was going off about people who don't wear poppies. That's but it was the way he... Fl- that's what I was going to say. It was the yeah. way he phrased it. He said, you people. See, okay, here's the, the thing. Cana- the people that come here and all and this kind of shit. And drink our milk and honey. If yeah, you left it yeah. at you people... Even that's fucked up. Cause, okay, see, in my mind, Even if he was like... fucked up. Hear me out. It is fucked up. But if you phrased it without saying... You come to our country and drink, like, take our milk and honey. If you left it at you people who don't wear poppies. Because there are some Canadians okay, yeah, I can, I can who don't that. wear poppies. I can, you people that don't wear poppies. Like, you people who don't wear poppies. If you left it at that, I think it would have been okay. But even still, man, you people is not a good phrase. No, no. people would have got offended, offended by the you people. But it maybe wouldn't have been as bad. But you, he would not have gotten fired. He, he could have. He could have talked his way out of that. One hundred percent. But when he said, "You come to our country, country and drink and our milk and honey," that's that's like, dude, you're straight up talking about immigrants. Yeah, which is rude. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, yes, they do come here, and yes, they have a right to come here. Like there's a to a point I do agree with what he said. Yes, like when in Rome situation, you know. But it's like if you're new to the country, they might not understand like the reason and symbolism of the poppy to us. You know what I mean? Yeah, he could have done it in a lot more respectful way. So it's like if they don't know and understand the importance of something, why would they want to do it? Also, hockey night in Canada is like really not the best place to be fucking talking about that kind of shit no it's really not a place to be political at all no no you're just people are just there for hockey man like it's like okay people don't wear poppies however you feel about it that's your tea don't yeah don't bring it to fucking hockey night in canada on a saturday when people are having a good old time watching hockey talk about hockey that's all they're there for but yeah, long story long, I think if he phrased it differently. Yeah, he would have not gotten he, he would have gotten in trouble, but he would but have he gotten, wouldn't as have as gotten as much trouble. He, wouldn't he have gotten definitely fired. could have talked his way out of it. And he said somewhere like he was heard he was um hurt that they fired him on Remembrance Day of all days. Is he a veteran? And that um he was gonna make an apology next Saturday on T V. Like you were gonna wait a week to apologize, bitch. You don't have Twitter. Like you, yeah, you don't have any type of social media, right? Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, on, anything. Apparently, he's starting his own podcast now. Okay. Yeah. He's fucking senile. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> he is going. He's gone crazy. I don't think he's gone crazy. I just think he's, like, dude, stop. Yeah, I think they they need new younger people on hockey night in Canada anyway. I heard the knocker. Oh. Oh. Fucking Ron McLean and Don Cherry have been there for years. I heard they're not going to do Coach's Corner anymore. No? Yeah, they're going to they're gonna stop it. Good. Like, they're trying to figure out what to do next. Because like, they don't want to bring it back. Because it's like, it's just... They feel like it would be disrespectful just to, like, brush past it and replace Don Cherry. It's like, oh, they don't even care about the what he said and how yeah. it offended people. I, so, s- like, I can see that. They're trying to just, like think of something else to do but then like what is that where does that leave Ron McLean <laughs> well he could like just do something else within whatever they're gonna make coach's corner maybe they could do like a Tim and Sid situation almost what like Tim and Sid like kind of bringing the no, that's fuck is Tim and Sid they just talk about sports they have a show who the fuck is Tim and Sid? <laughs> They're just doozy talk about sports. <coughs> I believe it's Tim and Sid, but that's still kind of like Coach's Corner. What would you want them to do? Would you even care? I wouldn't give a shit, no. Like, honestly, I never I never watch the intermission stuff. No, yeah, I don't really care either. Yeah, Tim and Sid, it's a talk show series about sports. 
Well, there you go. Tim is Sid. So there you go. Ron McLean can just do something like that. That's what he's going to do. Do a talk show. Except, except now he's like, I can be as righteous as I want. You mean Don Cherry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's doing a podcast, so he can do whatever the fuck he wants there. That's what I'm saying. He's like, I can be as racist as I want. But the other guy, you were just saying. Ron McLean, yeah. Yeah, like, what's he going to do? He could do a talk show where he's not racist as fuck. That's the tagline. I'm not racist as fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What else do I got going on? Any other fun stories? Uh, Oh, I got one. Yo, that noise that person recorded in the fucking woods, though. Yeah, that's terrifying. I'll post that. I was, um, I was talking to somebody about that, and I showed them the video... And they were saying it could have been a loon in a cave. What? What? A loon? Like, you know the sound of a loon I'm makes? aware of what a loon is. Okay. That's not a loon in a cave. I, Who I the fuck? Yeah, I, I guess I might have to search up on YouTube loons in a cave. <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. Tell your story. I'll do that. Uh, So, <laughs> I don't know how long ago this happened, but... Uh, Detroit cops posing as drug dealers tried to arrest Detroit cops posing as drug buyers, and then they all had a fist fight in the middle of the street. What? Uh, you didn't you didn't hear that? Not really. Uh, Detroit cops posing as Detroit drug dealers tried to arrest Detroit cops posing as drug buyers. Oh. And then they all had a fist fight in the <laughs> middle of the street. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna read the article to you. Sources say it started when two special ops officers from the 12th Precinct were operating a push-off. That's in quotations. Part of me wishes it was the 99th Precinct. That would have been amazing. 99? On Andover. Okay, it doesn't matter. (laughs) That is when two undercover officers pretending to be dope dealers waiting for eager customers to approach and then arrest potential buyers and seize their vehicles. But this time, instead of customers, special ops officers from the 11th precinct showed up. Oh, shit. Right? Not realizing they were fellow officers. They ordered the other undercover officers to the ground. Oh, my God. Box fantastic. Box 2 is told the rest of the special ops team from the 12th precinct showed up and officers began raiding a house. Just a fucking house. Just raiding a random, a random house. house. In, the, in the block. But instead of fighting crime... Officers from both precincts began fighting with each other. Randomly, apparently. Sources say guns were drawn and punches were thrown. Holy shit. While the homeowners stood and watched. The department's top cops were notified, along with internal affairs. Wait, hold up. So these cops raided a house with people in it. Yeah. And just got into a fucking fight. With other cops. And the homeowners are just watching. Just watching. They're just standing there like, wow, this is fucked up. <laughs> Why you, wow. Uh, and then the department's top cops were notified, along with internal affairs. Uh, each officer involved is now under investigation as the, apartment, as the department tried to determine what went wrong. Holy shit. Why the fuck would you not identify yourself as a police officer? Right? Why would you not like, I'm a cop. And he's like, I too am a cop. Wait, <laughs> I too am a cop. Shit. <laughs> And then you move on. This guy's like, give me the drugs. No. Pop. <laughs> How does that go down? All well in someone's house. No, it was in the middle of the street. Oh, okay. So okay. I guess the it got started in the house. And got moved to the... And got pushed out in the street. What the fuck? Yeah, so that's pretty fucked up. Yeah. Also, I can't find a loon calls in a cave. That's disappointing. I'll look more into that and uh try to find it but yeah dude that would what would you do if you heard that noise in the forest would you like want get to in my car and leave really what if would you go investigate part of me would really you want white to bitch in a horror movie <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you says the guy who almost got into a random ass car today okay that was before dog. i realized it wasn't somebody i knew it's not like I was like, 
Should I though? Like, should I get in the car? I was like, dude, fuck off, get out of here. <laughs> you acting like I, I got in it because I was like, you know what? Nah, I'll just walk. Don't worry, I'll just walk. <laughs> but like, part of me would want to investigate. I would want to know what it would be. Fucking Sam Squanch. See, I think that too. I don't even want to. I nope. No. Oh, it could just be like a really angry bear. And that's a good result for you? <laughs> well, no. So. But if you can get like. What's your end game here? <laughs> what do you hope to find? The source of the noise, obviously. And like what, what, do you, what do you want that to be? <laughs> like when you get there, you're going to be like, okay, there's a noise. And then what are you going to do? I'm going to get as close to it as I can. Are you fucked? Listen. Like, to a distance where I can, like, see it, but not close enough where it can bro. rush me. Bro. You know? What are you doing with your life? Being curious. Dying. Adventurous. Dying. You're dying is what you're doing. Unless it's a trapped animal and I save it and become best friends with the forest animals. Then what? Uh, no. <laughs> That's not how that works. That, dude, why would you go towards the noise? I told you, dude. Curiosity. Killed the cat. Well, a few cats have to die. <laughs> a few cats have to die. I'll be the murder cat. I don't care. <laughs> At least if I can maybe get a video, whip my phone back, somebody will find it and be like, oh shit, the source of the noise was an angry bear. Or bear sex. Could you imagine if it was just two bears fucking? <laughs> what? All right, well, <laughs> I think that's as good a spot to... You can't end it on two bears fucking. Well, ending on bears fucking. I think that's... <laughs> I don't know where to go from there. You kind of baffed me. <laughs> so, uh, next week, we, uh, we, f- we we find out if Tony even comes back from the woods. I'll find out. All right, oh, my God. oh, my up, God. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Real Whoa. quick story. So, at work today... It was warm earlier today, like with it all the machines. It was machi- warm. With all the machines and everything running, it's pretty warm where I work. So it's a two-person machine. I'm closest to the door that's open. And the other girl comes, who's not close to the door, and goes to close the door. And I'm like, yo, can you leave it open just a little bit, get some fresh air up in here? She comes over to me. She's like, why do you want the door open? Are you pregnant? <laughs> What? I swear to God. What the fuck? Yep. Why do you want the door open? Are you pregnant? And that Bro, why does fresh air equal pregnancy? <laughs> That's what I... Like, you need some fresh air. I was like, well, I want fresh air, and it's nice. Sorry for not wanting stale warehouse fucking Jesus. air. Jesus Christ. And I even said, I was like, I swear to God, if that comes back to me, I'm fucking coming for you. <laughs> like, you're the first person I'm coming for. Bitch, how do I get pregnant? <laughs> right? That will be my first question. I'll be like... That's such a jump. That's <laughs> such a jump. <laughs> like, Can I get some fresh air? What, are you pregnant? I was so <laughs> confused. <laughs> what the fuck? I was like, what? How did you get from A to Z? Imagine like in the car. Like you're driving in the car. <laughs> somebody is like, hey, can you roll out the window? It's pretty warm in here. What, are you pregnant? <laughs> like, Dude. What is I w- yeah I want to know that too. What is the connection there? How do you fresh get air? from A to B? Fresh air equals pregnancy. Like there is a pregnant woman at work. Does she often request fresh air that I don't know about? Yeah, but I just thought that was very strange. That is very weird. <laughs> I love how you like. Oh, we can't end on. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Bear sex. Bear sex, but we can end on. Pregnancy with fresh air? <laughs> well, I just thought it was better than bear sex. And I remembered to tell that story because I wanted to tell it today. Because she said it, and I was like, that's a fantastic story for the cast. <laughs> all right, well, all you pregnant ladies craving fresh air out there, have a good one. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>